what it's all about. Yeah. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. Right. And nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. 100%. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. But the people don't really know what I go through. I listen to it, but they really don't know what I go through because I just want to be polite. The boxing is the easy part. When you get in there and fight in the ring, it's easy. That's the vacation. But when you're here and you have to train, you have to do things over and over until you're sore. Until sometimes, when, and deep in your mind, you say, God, I don't want to do this no more. I'm not doing this because, you know, it's something you have to do. It's doing it because it should be fun to you. I push it out. While I'm in the dressing room, five minutes before I come out, my gloves are laced up. I'm breaking my gloves down. I'm, I'm pushing the lever in the back of my gloves. I'm gloves. breaking the middle of the gloves so my knuckle could pierce through the leather. I feel my knuckle piercing against the tight leather glove. I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated, but I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me. But that was, but I always stayed afraid of him. But as close as I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. He can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom, and one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. Then when he comes to the center of the ring, he still looks at me with his piercing look, and as if he's not afraid, but he already made that mistake when he, when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second. I know I had him. He'll fight hard for the first two or three rounds, but I know I already broke his spirit. During the fight, I'm supremely confident. I'm moving my head, he's throwing punches. I'm making a miss and I'm countering. I'm hitting him to the body, I'm punching him real hard. And I'm punching him, and I'm punching him. I know he's not able to take my punches. One, two, three punches, I'm throwing him up punches and bunches. He goes down, he's out. I'm victorious. Y'all guys know what I do, y'all know what I do. I put people in body bags, I'm right. So we know what's gonna happen. I like tough guys. All the time in prison, I always ran these guys, they were tough. When they were in, they ain't tough. When they get confronted, they ain't tough. When I bring that pain to them, they ain't tough. I said no man, no mortal, nobody but God. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and most vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody that's ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from there Nantua. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, the bike? Mike Tyson, greatest fighter ever lived.